So when reading the script for Avatar The Way of Water, the two sort of standout things and sort of lifting off the script pages were the amount of water that we were going to have to do, and then the second is the amount of photography, plate-based shots. From my perspective, I was confident that we could do high-fidelity CG water. We were doing all of the research for years to do it. But the difficult thing, or the thing that makes that even harder, is that there's plate-based photographic water that needs to be merged with CG water in stereo, and it's really unforgiving. Water is tough because you see down into it through refraction, you see off it through reflection. So 10 VFX soups, just over 200 compositors. It's 101 lighting TDs and 92 production stuff. And the final disc footprint was around 18 and a half petabytes. So we're using Foundry products through our pipeline, using Mari for uh, texturing our assets and authoring our assets, Katana for lighting the 3200 shots in the show and finally Nuke for bringing it all together. We've been relying on Nuke as a workhorse to do everything in deep compositing, and we've sort of leveraged it even further to do compositing in reflected and refracted spaces, extending the deep toolset further. Murray's our primary texturing tool, and we use it to texture all of our assets and allows us to work with very high resolution maps. Some of our creatures, in the case of Pyakan, the large whale-like creature, need to be dressed for camera, you know, very close up on all along its body and also work in the wide. And Mari allows us to work at that level of detail across an entire asset. One of the things that the team's really loving that's new in Mari is the node-based workflow. It's non-destructive, allows us to work procedurally versus the destructive layer paradigm. And we can provide artists with those procedural setups that give them a great starting point on an asset. The first version of our comps is actually run by the lighting TDs all of the render passes that they're spitting out from Katana via our renderer Manuka. There are comps set up to catch that data and automatically deep comp it through all of our lens treatments, etc., and produce first versions essentially without compositors working on the shot. And once the lighting starts getting a bit more liked by everybody, then the compers join the party and they start to refine it as compositors do. So we knew with such a large number of shots, it's uh, 3,200 shots, that we really wanted to keep things templated. We have very large and very dense layouts and they're sort of populated a lot via instancing. For example, the Mekina village, it's 66 billion instances of 2300 unique assets down to the leaves on the trees. All of the water is really large simulations, you know, and you've got people riding Elu and so we use Katana to hide that complexity. We can work on those assets at a very high level and worry about the lighting, not about managing the scene complexity and shuttling things in and out and saving scenes. So we generally work at a sequence level, make shot level lighting adjustments in our templates. We won't be diving all the way into, you know, a single leaf or a gourd or a piece of fruit in the village, but it's all there in the layout. Working on Avatar The Way of Water for such a long period of time, it's not just a film, it's like a chapter in our lives, you know, five to seven years for some of us. Working with such a great team at Weta, everybody's, you know, running at the top of their game has just been fantastic. <laughs>